everyone i hope you are all well um welcome to today's video i am going to film a sort of week in the life weekly vlog as i haven't actually filmed one of those videos in so long and this week in particular we've got some exciting things happening so yeah it makes a change to just sitting on the sofa and lazing around at home so i thought i would just bring the camera along and you guys can join me one thing i'm really looking forward to is our scan tomorrow um we've got a scan and i'm currently as i'm filming this i'm currently 23 weeks and six days pregnant bump is looking like this i mean i'm sat down so you can't quite see so yeah we're gonna see our little baby tomorrow on the scan and i say we because um charlie's gonna come with me we were a bit naughty and we booked a private scan just for a bit of reassurance just to kind of see him as at my last scan with a cardiologist we he only looked at the heart um so we didn't sort of have a look at everything else so i just think for peace of mind and it'll also just be really nice for us to sort of see him um i think it will be a 3d scan as well and we had one of those with arlo so it will be really lovely to see if they look similar at all um or from what we can tell from the scan so yeah i'm really really looking forward to that that's going to be like the highlight of my week i think and as you can probably tell my bump is growing it is so big um i've also done a few little maternity shops um for like clothes and things because a lot of my clothes now aren't fitting me so i'm really looking forward to those coming i think they may be coming today or tomorrow so i will show you what i got i think i mainly got bits from in the style and new look um so i'll show you those they're really really nice a lot of them are just dresses like this because i find these kind of things so comfy to wear because they're so stretchy like this isn't even maternity i think this is just from h&m or somewhere like that and it just fits over the bump really lovely and i just wear it with a nice cardi or something so yeah i'm looking forward to getting a nice sort of new spring wardrobe or spring maternity wardrobe and then we've also got some really exciting like little bits going on around the house like we've had this mirror be put up and a lot of our frames and things like that are being put up um we're also painting over the green wall in arlo's room so that'll all be white um the frames and that have been put up in his room so i feel like this is going to be quite like a productive week so i thought we'd better vlog because i don't know i haven't vlogged in ages um and i just think whilst we've got some exciting things going on it'll be nice to share i've also got to be a bit productive i've got some like general errands to run like i've got to go do do a food shop soon arlo's currently down for a nap it's 20 to 1 um so i'm just gonna write my list now whilst he's asleep and then when he wakes up we'll go do a quick food shop i'm not gonna do a huge one i keep spending so much money um on our weekly food shops which is ridiculous so i'm just gonna try and do like a really like small and precise one so i'm gonna plan it all before i go and um yeah just not go overboard i think maybe that's because i'm pregnant like i just see all the food and i have to just get it but yeah that needs to stop and I've also got to go to the post office and I've got to return something and also post my sister's birthday card. So, yeah, we've just got some, like, little odd jobs and things like that to do. But, yeah, it's also a really, really beautiful day. I don't know if you can see out the windows. Um, it's really, like, warm today and really spring-like, so it's put me in a very, very good mood. Also, on the talk of home updates, in my last home updates video that I uploaded, I showed you guys the cushions online and they finally came... So I'm just sat on the sofa with them now. And they've made the sofa so comfy. It is so nice. Um, they also do a matching blanket like this, which I'm kind of tempted to get because it's just so cosy and nice. And it just feels really nice and soft. So I might get that, but it's quite expensive and we don't really need any more blankets. So that is not very, it's not really a necessity to get. Um, but yeah, I just love the look of the sofa now and it's so comfy. This week as well, I really want to sit down with Charlie and film the baby names we love but won't be using video. And then I also really, really want to film my birth story before I give birth the second time. I want to film it, um, my story of obviously giving birth with Arlo because I feel like if I don't do it before I give birth this time, I won't, one, I won't ever do it and two, I feel like the information, the details that I remember will be a bit blurred because I'd have gone through it twice and things like that. So I'm kind of thinking whilst that's been my only labour and my only birth, I really want to sit down and film that video because I actually really enjoy um, 
like watching and reading some um like birth stories and things and i just think it would also be so nice for us to look back on in like years to t years to come because i'm sure like a lot of the information that i remember now i'll probably forget so yeah it would be nice to kind of film that so i don't know if i'll do that next uh, this week or sometime in the future so that's also on the cards for the week. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. This has been a little bit of like a long intro <laughs> into what we're gonna be um, getting done this week. But um, but yeah, stay tuned. Hello. <laughs> Can you say hi to the vlog? Uh. Hi. Are we ready to go do our errands? Uh. <laughs> Um, Arlo's woken up from his nap now and we are on our way food shopping and I've just remembered that I have got all of the recycling in my car as well so I'm going to have to try and find a um, like supermarket that does the recycling point so fingers crossed I can find one because I've not had to do that before so I might have to do a little drive by just to find one but I'm guessing Sainsbury's will so I might head there for um, ease because I'm pretty sure they will. You've got your snack and your book. since I have vlogged. I just did a pregnancy beginners yoga workout thing um, as you would have seen from the clips and yeah it was interesting. It was my first time doing like proper pregnancy yoga so I thought I'd start with the beginners one and it probably didn't help but I had Arlo all around me. He was literally jumping all over me but he had fun and we enjoyed it. Um, he's currently down for a nap so I thought whilst he's away I'll um, show you some little bits that I ordered. I only ordered like one or two things for the boys for summer. I've got them here. So I bought them both little matching like summer outfits and it's made with like really soft linen. So this is babies. I bought his in zero to one month. No, one to two months. And I got Arlo's here. So that's the top with like a nice little button up and his shorts and I think Arlo's is just what's his one and a half to two so that will fit him for the summer and this should fit baby as soon as he's here obviously he's due in summer so I just thought this is nice and light and airy we can have the buttons open so he can stay nice and cool in the summer so that's really cute and then I also I ordered these but I wanted to, I, I thought I got them for Arlo, I thought I got them in one to two years, but I actually got them in one to two months, um, but obviously his little brother can have those anyway, so they'll still get um, a lot of use out of them. I actually really like as well, because I'm not sure about having the actual like braces on for the baby, but you can actually take them off through the buttons here, so I think I might do that for him, and then maybe if I try and find some in Arlo's size, he can have like the braces done up because I think they might be a little bit uncomfortable for baby but whereas Arlo 
I don't think that would be that uncomfortable for him. So yeah, just two little bits. And then I also got myself, actually, these leggings. I'm probably not standing in the best place, but these were from H&M as well. And these aren't maternity, but they're so stretchy. And then they came with a little, like, matching top like this, with, like a little front bit so I just got those little bits literally a really small little order but I thought I'd show you and then I did order as well some um some other like maternity clothes I remember saying in my intro bit I ordered from in the style and new look but I didn't really like the bits I got from in the style so a lot of that went back and I only got two dresses from new look which were really really nice they're just like nice um black and white dresses I'll put them on the screen now and they were actually really really affordable as well from new look so to be honest, I don't know. I've ordered from In The Style before and I, and I just think it's not amazing quality, really, I don't think, anyway, um, for some of their maternity clothes. Their usual clothes might be different, but I'm not sure. I much preferred the um, like new look dresses for those. We also had our scan, our 3D scan of baby. So I've got our pictures here. Some people can't make out a face, but I feel like this is actually quite a clear one. I don't know if you can see his little face there. So that was really, really lovely, seeing him in 3D. There's another one here. You can just make out the face. And then in, I've got quite a few photos actually, but in this one, for like a lot of the time, he had his um, hands and arms over his face, which is exactly what Arlo used to do as well. And we'd go for like a 3D scan for him. And in that one, you can just make out like the two arms over the face. So that was a really nice thing to do um, and see him. Obviously, Charlie came and um, that was the first time that he'd actually seen the baby since we went for like the six week scan. So that was really nice that we got to do that together um, and keep this. I also got it on um, tape as well, like the 3D bit. So I'll insert that now. This is our afternoon activity set up. We've just finished having our lunch, haven't we? And we're gonna do a little bit of finger painting. I've seen this online, I've not done it before, but I'm just gonna mix some um, food coloring with some Greek yogurt and um, you can do some little finger painting on some paper. So let me set it up and we will resume filming. So this is before we've added our food colouring. So, mummy's got yogurt. We're going to mix our colours. This is what they look like, and we're going to mix up our colours. Which one's this going to be? Me. Yeah. Do you want to do some mixing? Me. You're going to think it's food. Ready? You have to mix it all up like this. Arlo do it. Oh no, not food though. Let mummy do the mixing and then I'll show you how we do the finger painting. 
Oh, our orange is looking good. Nah. What does it taste like? Nah. Let's get it off your face. <laughs> yeah. so that's food colouring. <laughs> so the beauty about this, obviously, <laughs> he's probably a little bit too young to be doing actual painting because he probably will put it in his mouth. Whereas with this, I know food colouring in the mouth obviously isn't ideal, but it's a lot better than normal paint and obviously Greek yogurt is harmful. Oh, no, no, oh look, no. we're doing green now. Ready? Here's your paper. Then we're gonna go like this. Ready, look. That's it. Not in your mouth yet, on there, well done. You're doing painting. Bit of the pink. More. More, you want the other colours? Well done. What I might do, if we sellotape your piece of paper down, then it won't move, will it? Well done, Arlo. Just gonna do your other colours. We've got yellow, and then we've got one more colour. What colour do you think is the best colour that we should do again? Because we've only got five colours. Arlo, choose one. Which one? You want another orange? Should we put orange on this one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well done. Your painting looks so good. Mummy needs to wash her hands. Yeah. Too. Well done. Mama. What, darling? Mama. You want the other colours? Ready? I'm gonna swap it over and we'll do the orange. This blue is so bright, Arlo. Well done. Look, here's your other colours. That's it, that's blue. Wow. Look, should we show? You're doing so good. No. No. More what? This is all the colours now. So we're on to round two now of the masterpiece, yogurt masterpiece. Mama. More what? Mama, mama. You've got your colours, all your colours are there. And you've got your paper. Wow, that looks beautiful. five o'clock and I've just sat down to prepare Arlo's dinner. I'm going to make him these turkey and red lentil nuggets from the Joe Wicks Lean and 15 book. I absolutely love this. It's honestly the best cooking book 
for like families and like little ones. So I'm just gonna make him these. These have got to set in the fridge for a while and then I think I'm gonna freeze some and then coat them in like the um, like breadcrumbs and things like that. So yeah, I just thought it's such a nice and quick, easy meal to make. And it's like a nice healthy alternative to like other oven food as well. So yeah, it looks good. So into the fridge they go. So I've got my homemade breadcrumbs, which I made in my little mini chopper, and a plate of flour and egg yolk, and then I'm just gonna like bread the um, meatballs with that, and I'll show you how I do it. Hello, so it's up to date Daisy here. I'm just editing the video and I realized I didn't actually finish filming what I was filming of um, cooking Arlo's dinner, so that is why we've jumped from that to now. Um, and I also obviously didn't film an outro to the video either, but this is me just ending the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the weekly vlog. I'm sorry if it was all a bit kind of all over the place, um, but we've just been a little bit all over the place recently. So yeah, I've just tried to kind of film as much as I can. Um, and when I can, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it was really lovely being able to see the baby in 3D. And yeah, we've just had a bit of a chill week really. So I just thought we'd document as much as we can. Um, let me know if you do like sort of like weekly vlogs. It's been a while since I've obviously filmed this kind of like weekly vlogs. Um, but I might try like get back into it and do maybe like one video a week as like a weekly vlog which is more like laid back and stuff so yeah let me know if you enjoyed it um, and I will be sure to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.